Well, hello there. Did you enjoy the content today? I really hope so. If you did, think about subscribing. That would really help me out. Thanks! Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda. In case you didn't know, I'm Linda. Hi! Well, hello, my friends. Today, we are going to have a brand new tea to us um, by a older manufacturer. Well, not older, but I've had them before. Let's just put it that way. So this is Raichi um, Spicy Marsala Chai. Uh, this is a loose tea, which if I was prepared for, I would have already had my chai tea maker out. All right, so our Rishi Marsala Chai, it says organic black tea and botanicals. It is loose. Spicy Marsala Chai cranks up the heat on a Rishi classic. In our sourcing travels, we love enjoying local and traditional foods. Over the years, we have developed palettes for super spicy dishes, and we love to compare the unique varieties of chilies grown throughout the world. We added some cayenne chili pepper to our Marsala Chai. Oh, wow, sorry, that accent really came out. Um, to our Marsala Chai blend. <laughs> and doubled the concentration of ginger to deliver a thoroughly hot chai experience of sayas and addicts like us can rally behind. Classic aroma, classic aromatic accents of cinnamon, cardamom, and cloves add richness and depth. A little too hot for your taste? Add a touch of honey and milk to achieve your balance. Our ingredients are organic, everything's organic, so just organic before everything. Uh, organic cardamom, ginger root, cinnamon, black tea. Oh, that's interesting. The black tea is not even the first ingredient. Um, black pepper, cloves, uh, chili pepper, and essential oil of garlic. Hmm. Black tea isn't even the first ingredient. All right. Preparations are uh, one and a half teaspoons for 12 ounces of water. Ooh, that's going to be like a full cup. We'll take our little six ounce cup out the way. Uh, 200 degrees for five minutes. All right, one and a half teaspoons. Um, it's a really nice little slip case. It's cardboard, it's a, it's a heavy duty cardboard, so that's nice. Uh, it looks like it's been vacuum sealed, um, which I guess makes it nice as well, even though it's not completely, I mean, it's, it's like a half-ass vacuum seal. Anything can be half-assed. Don't you know that, Linda? <laughs> All right. Oh, you can see the whole, oh, this, you can see the cold cardamom pods. It's actually quite nice looking. So, um, actually, I'll pour it out in here so you can see. smells good um kind of looks like potpourri but i mean it smells it smells good so you know i'll take it um I'll mix it up and it's a teaspoon and a half but you know what we'll just do two because i like stuff spicy spicy and hot all right let's fill that was for 12 Oz, so we'll go to our 12 Oz line. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes starting now. All right. That's our five. All right. If this is your first time at the channel, hey, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it tremendously. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Linda. I am a mostly self-taught potter who has a pretty significant hot tea addiction. Um, I am obsessed with teapots. 
uh, and tea, if you can't tell. Hmm. Um, and I am trying to find or make the perfect teapot and then fill it with the perfect tea. Um, well, the perfect tea for the occasion. Um, the occasion is turning out to be the harder thing to get figured out because um, there's a lot of different things. Hey Siri, stop timer. Okay, so our five minute timer has lapsed. So we will bring our tea maker over here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a stir, even though I guess realistically I don't need to um, since it's just me drinking. Um, it smells nice in here. Um, you know, I don't know, we'll see. All right, we will move our tea maker here. Uh, obviously, it is very cloudy. There is particulate in it. Uh, it is not the yum yum color by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's, I can't even say I'm really drawn to her or want to drink it because of the color. It looks like, kind of looks like bog water. Um, actually, bog water would be darker, but um, I don't know. It's not a very appetizing color. Like I said, it does smell good. Uh, it smells more gingery than it does cardamom -y. Um It smells more like a, a ginger tea than it does uh, our marsala. Oops, I spilled. Oh, gosh, my shirt does look really dirty. Um, okay, so... Is this tea like a Marsala chai? If I'm going to call it a Marsala chai, you know, in my brain, the thing that I go to is the Valdam's India's original Marsala chai. And comparing the two, the Valdam tea knocks it out of the park. This isn't bad. The chili in it does add a nice other dimension to it and you can definitely taste it on the back end it is not overwhelming um but it is it is a little punch of some cayenne um so if you're not ready for that uh, it might be a little on the overwhelming side but if you enjoy that it's good now like i said before it kind of irritates me that tea is not the first ingredient um, because the tea should always be what you're tasting first. I mean, you're getting tea. Um, so if there was, if tea was your first ingredient in this and everything else was how it is, I think it would be good. I think it'd be really very good. I, I do like that kick of, of um, cayenne at the end. I do like that. Um, but I don't like that you can't taste the tea so much, but just overall as a Marsala chai, um, I, I've, I've had better. I've also had many worse. Uh, this is on the better end of it. Um, but I wish you could taste the tea more. Yeah, I just wish you could taste the tea more than that. Um, alrighty, well, thanks for coming by and having a couple with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!